good YouTube. It's been a minute. I've not been around for ages because it's been a pandemic. But you know, I'm back, back on my travels again, 2022. So today, going Cyprus, man, Paphos, see what it's about. Check out some bars and clubs and some fun excursions. So yeah, man, let's let's get into this one. So I've arrived and as you can see it's pretty sunny, pretty happy about that because weather in the UK is shite at the moment with rain. We've had every season in the last seven weeks so yeah it's quite nice to have a nice little bit of a sun out here and yeah nice little cool breeze. But yeah I'm going to be heading out tonight, I'm going to be exploring, seeing what um, yeah man Cyprus has got to offer so yeah. So I stayed at the Queen's Bay Hotel which is a 4 star hotel, cute little tennis courts up at the top, on first impressions definitely was very impressed, looked quite neat and tidy as well, this is just the entrance and reception, very elegant looking and everything seemed very um, put well together. This is the room, two single beds, cute little balcony, weather was shining and the bathroom and shower was uh, pleasantly happy with. Two pool areas, one for the adults, one for kids. They've even got a spa and a few bars around the area. All right, guys, so today, guys, it's still day one. Tonight, I'm gonna be heading to a place called Bar Street. That's what the locals call it as. Um, it's basically a strip where there's a lot of bars, um, clubs, drinks. So obviously, I'm gonna be getting more to a little bit. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys in a bit what that place is saying. The Only Ways Flares was definitely the hottest club on the strip. There were a few other bars and clubs, but this place was definitely popping every single night. They have a range of music, drinks are cheap, two cocktails for seven euros, two shots for five euros, cheese for 14 euros. They even sell balloons at three euros each. Everything in this place was amazing. This is me just getting mortal for the night, a few shops. Like I said, the music was diverse from anything from hip hop, a bit of Afro beats, to techno, to house, to pop, to just remixes. The DJ was definitely on job. And if you're lucky ladies, look, you might get a smooch from one of the workers there. This guy was definitely active with a lot of the ladies. In terms of opening time, they open from about, I'll say nine o'clock, 10 o'clock to about 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, but things definitely started picking up, I'll say roughly about 11 o'clock, which is when we used to arrive there. This is just vibes from the night I was there. I was there every single night, to be honest. So some of the clips are just a combination of my week there, to be honest. And if you didn't want this party to stop there, there's a club called Rainbow. This club is open from 2 till 5 a.m. It's literally just up the road from Only Wears Flares. Definitely nice upon entry. Lights. DJ was on point. To be honest, the music here I actually thought was better because it's definitely suited more to my genre. The music here was pretty much, as you can hear it, a little bit of hip hop, R&B. They had a few Afro beats. It was all remixed and it was nice. They also sell balloons here as well. A little bit more expensive at seven euros for one cocktail. Day three into my trip, I decided to go to Paphos Zoo, only 21 euros per person and they actually pick you up from outside of your hotel. So that was quite nice. You also have the option to visit Coral Bay Beach afterwards as a free shuttle that takes you there, different times displayed when you do enter the zoo there. This was just a nice vibe to be honest. There were so many animals here. If you're an animal lover and you love animals, then yeah, this is the place to come. But yeah, just take it in all sorts here. These were the lemurs. You have an option to pay five euros to visit and pet them and feed them. If I'm being honest, I was about to go in there and they were acting up and I got scared for my life. So I didn't do it. These are me just feeding some cows. For one euro, you can purchase a bag of food there. I think it's like some sort of dried fruit. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's quite nice. I'm trying to be brave here. I was a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. You can kind of see me pulling away a bit here, but yeah. And of course you can feed the sheep as well. If you've ever fed sheep before, they are quite feisty. They love their food, man. But yeah, quite nice as well, just to get a bit involved. how big these turtles are i've never seen big turtles like this before wow some lovely tigers i've never been this close before to tigers some lions yeah yeah now nah, these are cool man 
The zoo's fun guys, go to the zoo. Can't remember what these are called but they look like some lion cats. My favourite part about the zoo was actually the giraffe experience. This was mental, like I've never ever fed a giraffe in my life. It's only 10 euros for a group of you. So whether you're in a couple, whether you're in a group of two or three, no matter what, it's 10 euros for a group. You get a certain amount of food in a basket to feed the giraffe and you all can take turns, you can video it, take pictures. Yeah, it's nice man, it's just beautiful. And the queue weren't really too long either. There's someone down there as well to help you just to kind of make sure that the giraffe is on job and eating the food out of your hand like this woman is here. But yeah, this was my favourite part of the day to be honest. And they also have a Paphos Zoo show. This is absolutely free and part of your zoo entry. This is pretty cool if you're a family or you're on a couple or on a day or on a holiday. Or if you have kids, to be honest, it was quite cute. They have parents doing all sorts of tricks as well. What I liked about this show as well, that they were very um, interactive. So they got a lot of the kids involved, as you can see here, allowing them to participate in the show, which made for an overall fun experience. So day four, I decided to do the deep and jeep tour. This was 55 euros per person. This is a day full of excursions and fun activities. The first stop is the coral sea caves. You have your own personal guide that gives you some information about where you are, some of the history. You have a chance to take videos and photos. As you can see in the background, those are the sea caves. They apparently like this because of Cyprus's history, where they used to be part of the African continent and due to earthquakes, it caused what you see today. This is the boat, so you have a boat that will take you out to the Blue Lagoon. This is just our instructor giving us some information. Just bored in here, definitely was excited. And yeah, it's called the Blue Lagoon for a reason. So yeah, the water is very blue as you can see, nice and clear, nice little breeze. Good thing about this boat is that you can also get snacks and drinks on board if you need to. One of Cyprus's famous landmarks, the Rock of Aphrodite. Aphrodite was the Olympian goddess of love, beauty, pleasure and procreation. Apparently if you swim around this rock, you will be blessed eternally with beauty. So if you ain't blessing that department, definitely go take a swim there. So at some point you get to stop for one hour in the Blue Lagoon, you're allowed to jump off and have a swim, get your body wet. I can't swim, I didn't want to die and I didn't want to get wet so I didn't get involved. Part of this day, so being in a deep and jeep for a reason, you are in a small group in a jeep as you can see. So you, you start on the road first, this is quite cool, you're going up the mountains, it's quite nice to take in the scenery, there's music playing in the background, vibing, you know, vibing with your friends or your loved ones. So this is a jeep behind us, so this part was, was calm, it was nice. They did warn you though before you go, it is going to get a little bit rocky um, and as you can see you do go off road. So in this next clip now you can kind of see where the road has changed. I'm not going to lie, I was scared because one wrong moved, it's callous for everybody, you can die. But don't let that stop you people, go and enjoy yourself still. So the final stop of the day was the Adonis Bath waterfalls. There's two waterfalls to look at here as well as a lot of history and a lot of landmarks and a lot of gods and goddesses. As you can see we're just kind of walking up to the place. There's statues all around with a bit of information about who they are. There's a tour guide who actually gives a talk. This guy is actually the owner. It's been in his families for many many generations. He gives you some information and history about Aphrodite and her lover and what the waterfalls mean. I won't ruin that for any of you guys in case you do want to go and visit it or if you decide to go and look it up and research yourself but some definitely some cool information and yeah I would recommend to visit this if you are there. This is just me being childish, I haven't grown up. <laughs> Anyways, so these are the first of the two waterfalls, a nice small little waterfall. You are allowed to swim in there by the way, take pictures, get your toes wet. You can jump off of this one down into the bigger one as you'll see in the next scene in a bit. So yeah, this one is the bigger of the two. I'm not going to lie, the water is cold. You can have a swim but just be careful if you do decide to jump off the top of the bridge down it's at your own risk people so be safe and be smart but yeah i didn't want to get wet i didn't want to get cold but i enjoyed what i saw adonis waterfall guys absolutely beautiful water is beautiful as well you can see in the background So day five, I decided to go on an ocean vision crew for 62 euros per person. They pick you up from your hotel and they also drop you off. This is a massive cruise ship. 
about three four stories big it's just huge it can fit 180 people this involves an unlimited cocktails and a buffet on board but yeah i was excited for this definitely a mixture of people aboard there was old and young people but yeah i'll take you guys through it and kind of show you some of the scenery and the stuff that i experienced for the day i will say though make sure you get there early and on time there's not 180 some beds so of course if you don't get there on time you snooze you lose you may have to sit around and not be able to get a sun bed there are places to sit but yeah like we managed to get one but yeah not everybody did so definitely get there early or on time for sure this is just me going downstairs showing you one of the other bars and just some of the scenery they have this cruise ship was beautiful definitely loved the architecture and i appreciated it for what it was you get an opportunity to swim which is pretty cool again if you want to have a swim and jump in you are allowed to they have this cool little slide as you can see here with people kind of sliding off into the water not gonna lie the food was dead nah it's edible but it just wasn't really that nice to be honest but you know you get on with it so yeah this is the music some of the entertainment for the elder generation but yeah some of us young people wanted to turn up which we did for sure so on my last day there and this was my favorite day i wanted to do some water sports so the company we found was called pathos water sports and they are located on pathos beach which is found at the harbour now different prices vary so i did paragliding and crazy rides for 70 euros jet bikes for 50 euros i spent a total of 120 euros which is roughly 100 pound for free excursions which i think is not bad of course the more you do the more you can bargain and get um, certain excursions a bit cheaper There are also other stuff as well so if you do go with family or say young ones and kids there's definitely a lot more friendly uh, excursions here this is me doing a paraglide and if you want to see this head over to my other paragliding video to kind of see the full experience of that and this is me learning how to use a jet bike they're called jet bike not jet skis as they're a bit bigger a lot more safer in my opinion i was nervous to go on it because i've heard so many jet skiing accidents have happened and people losing their lives and some serious incidences but i didn't let fair overtake me the reason why i'm going slow by the way this is the safe zone i wasn't going this slow throughout because there's lots of other things going on you just have to make sure you go slow until they let you out but yeah this was awesome and i've never i've never done jet biking before so yeah this is my favorite part of the whole trip to be honest and that's me in the background winging it just going fast i did get faster though don't worry people and after that decided to do some crazy rides where oh man this was crazy you will get wet expect to get wet and see salt in your mouth and to be swallowing some of the water but yeah man this was this was a great day a lovely way to end the trip Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you please subscribe and follow. Thank you.